Yeah. 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 They're laughing at me all the time. Hello guys, my name is Carson Lee. Welcome to my channel. I stopped by in a very special factory that is producing mini rockets and moon travelers. So this is one of the three factories in the world that is still producing this typical item. So I'm having here today Mr. Gan and the owner of the factory and I would like to ask him some questions about this special rocket and, um, and, and see what he says, okay? Uh, now, Gan Zhong, uh, would you say hello to the audience? Uh, 打个招呼 那个我想问一下你就是说因为这个产品这个这个这个还是我我小时候玩的哈然后你用一句话来概括这个产品的特点是什么就是现在到至今为止都一切都是还是纯手工制作 <笑> OK So I was asking him uh, what is the special, uh, specialty of this item because this is some kind of item from my childhood and his answer is the main the most typical uh, you know speciality of this item could be uh, this is 100 percent made by hand so as we've been traveling different factories and many fireworks are you know some some part of it can be made by machine already so now what i want to say is that it's very fast oh he started laughing <laughs> 四五十件一天,像将近八十人 <laughs> You know what? I was asking him how many cases he can make every day and the answer was 50 cases for 80 people <laughs> Can you imagine that? Because we've been visiting different factories then and most of them they can make about you know, 30,000 cases a year or even 200,000 cases a year and I, I would ask him why he can still, I mean, um, persist in producing this item. What is the reason you have to do this? It's so difficult to do it and the production is so fast. Yes, it's very fast. It's like we have all the he got the certificate from government of the intangible cultural heritage. And that's that's cool. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Now, uh, so, uh, 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 with this item and he still want to continue making this item and keep this item in the market so if you guys still want moon travelers make sure that try to order a little bit okay try to order a little bit to keep this item in the market okay let me show you how these products are made this factory is still in a in a kind of like a mountain and if you look on my backside it looks like a valley Come on, come on, follow the camera. Let me show you the villages of China. I can see the red roofs. Beautiful, right? So if you guys love China, love fireworks, you have to visit China. And I'm gonna show you the view, the nice view here. He keeps saying that so most of his workers are elder. I mean, um, a lot older than the usual workers. So let's find out. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why the fireworks are made slowly, you know, rather so slow, and also in the output, it's quite, um, you know, limited. <laughs> now I'm inside of. Um, of a workshop and as uh, you could look around most of these the workers here uh, I, I could call them grandpa and grand, grand you know grandpa and grandma all of the workers here are a little bit elder than most workers in the fire industry and here is a factory that is more typical because most of the factory workers are in their elder age maybe they might be 
50 or 60 or maybe 65 or whatever. I really got touched because I'm asking him, you know, how those grandma and grandfather, they came here because they even can't move well, but how do they come and to, to work? So <laughs> okay, so he's saying that um, they actually pick them up and send them back every day. And so this is not just about a firework industry or this is not just about a work, but there is, it's more about love. Because, I mean, that I could imagine, I mean, that's one of the biggest reason that he is still doing this job because all of these neighborhoods, all of these eldest neighborhoods, they still have a will or wish in this virus industry. They still have their own love as well. But so precise, as you can see, it looks like it is done by machine. So if I'm gonna do it, I, you know, it's, it's just kind of like, it's so difficult for me to find the troops. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do the same work of, as, uh, of what he's doing and I'm gonna make a hole over there. <laughs> Let's see. Where is that? Hey, hey, one. Uh, one. Huh? 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 Two. <laughs> Why are you they're laughing? They're laughing at me all the time. <laughs> <You know? laughs> if I work here, <laughs> if I'm if I work here, I, I don't really think that I can, you know. Okay, where is that? Okay, six. <laughs> this is so difficult. You know what? The guy behind me, he is actually number one in making the holes here. <laughs> In Liuyang, I'm pretty sure it should be in China and also number one in the world. Let's check out how fast he can do this. Start. <laughs> Two minutes, 50 seconds. So 469 trips. Crazy. Now I'm gonna show you something really interesting and incredible. Dong, 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 dong. Hey, Boba. Can do it, can do it. So, you know, what he's doing now, what she's doing now is that she's trying to, um, uh, you know, put the fuse inside of the, 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 the rocket actually. So as you can see, when you're playing a very small rocket and it might be done by an 80 year old grandmother. So it's just incredible. Let me, let me show you what, you know, how good she's doing the job. Now I'm gonna show you how I do this. Fusing, fusing, fusing the Whistling Moon Travelers. Hold on. <laughs> so the only thing I wanna explain is that if I am working here, I don't really think that I can make a case or even half case as what I do. So this is so authentic and so detailed and I do respect, you know, I, you know, I'm definitely laughing a lot, but I really have to say I do respect all of the workers here and all of the grandma, grandpa here because they're doing a real great job. So here is where they label water rockets. Final packaging. Okay. 
This factory, they also make the house rockets. I mean, something slightly bigger than the Wisdom in Travelers. And that's the, um, you know, the way and how to do it. Imagine if I shoot all of this. One. <laughs> I think, I think she shall fix it for me. <laughs> I made only three and I, th I think she made about 30. <laughs> so, and even uh, they will have to remake the three as well. You are the winner. Oh. Even though this is rather too simple, like two steps or whatever, but this is the most, um, how do you say, most uh, uh, incredible experience. And um, I, would, I would say, you know, I've been traveling different factories, I've been working with different factories like Cakes and, and Rockets and, and Shows, and all of them, they are massive, they're fancy. But this factories, and I'm pretty sure that you guys, when you come to China, you will have to visit them and miss, visit Mr. Gan because they are still doing other work. I mean, they're still making something like Sitter Missiles and the Whistling Moon Travelers and some of the other mini rockets as well. This Moon Travelers, because I, I, I really couldn't remember when I, I shot it last time. It might be like, you know, maybe 20 or 30 years ago. Um, no, 20, 20, 25 years ago. So I hope you guys uh, will know, still love this item and to keep this item in your collection, okay? Oh, having fun with it. <laughs> and that's the end of today's factory tour and if you like my channel subscribe and also leave your comments of what kind of factories you want to see in China in the fire industry so thank you so much